One medical center here in Des Moines is working to prevent patients from getting amputations with a mix of brand new technology right out of the movies and some other techniques that are thousands of years old. We want to warn you, what you're about to see is very graphic. I'll hold you to your word. Yes! How precious! Remember this character from the movie The Lord of the Rings? The same technology that brought Gollum's character to life on the big screen is now being used to help save limbs from amputation right here in central Iowa. The same company that made this camera for the movie is now making it for medical uh, purposes. And the one thing that they've been able to do is, is, is um, translate it into a, a wound camera. Dr. Rogers is the director of the Amputation Prevention Center at Broadlawns and sees patients from all over the country. And when you talk to some of these people, they, um, they'll, they'll do anything to uh, prevent an amputation. That, that, that limb is a part of their body and they do not want that to be uh, removed from them. That's where the new Silhouette mobile camera comes in. It, it can look at a wound on a person's limb or on their foot and it can give you a th the three-dimensional structure of the wound. The information is then stored as both a picture and a graph, so the doctor and the patient can see how the sore is progressing. Dr. Rogers started using the camera about a month ago. It's one of only 40 in the country, and he says it's already become an important tool in his work. Well, it helps everybody because it, it helps me so I can see that we're on the right track to healing the wound. Uh, it helps the, the patient so that they actually have some visual clue that their, that their wound is improving. One group that benefits from the new medical technology is type 2 diabetics who are at a high risk for amputations. They often lose feeling in their legs and feet due to poor circulation. That means when a blister or wound does start to form, it often gets infected quickly because diabetics don't realize how badly they're hurt. It's a situation Gary Seaton found himself in not too long ago. What started off as a blister on his toe quickly turned into a major problem. When I seen it when it was turning black, I didn't really know how serious it was at that time until I got in to, to see that the, let the doctors look at it and see how bad it really was. By the time Gary finally saw Dr. Rogers, the infection had made its way down to the bone, a very serious situation. In most people's eyes, that would just warrant an amputation right there because bone infection usually warrants removing that bone that's infected. And um, we gave him the option of Instead of just amputating the toe, what we could try to do is we could try to heal it. One look at the camera and it's clear the size of Gary's wound has significantly decreased over the past few weeks. Although new technologies are helping many people who face amputations, sometimes the best way to heal someone involves taking a step back in time. It's a treatment that dates back to the Middle Ages and is rarely used today, but can clean out a wound quickly and efficiently. It's the application of medical maggots, used when other treatments are too risky for a patient. Now that may sound unappealing, but there are some folks brave enough to try it. I was willing to try anything. If it was going to help, then I was willing to do it. The maggots work by eating away at the patient's dead tissue and help doctors get to the healthy tissue so the wound can heal. The process takes about three days. The maggots did help clean out Martha's wound and it looks much better now. Martha says she's impressed by all the options she's had to treat her medical problems. Well, I just can't believe they got all the techniques that they do, you know, that can help me and I'll like I said, I'm a, I'm a willing participant. <laughs> Martha says for now, the focus is on getting one last sore on her foot healed. Because if not, the possibility that she could lose a limb is very real. The thoughts crossed my mind several times. And, you know, I just got the confidence that I'm here and they're taking care of it. And that I think things are going to be okay. According to statistics, those with diabetes are 10 times more likely to have an amputation than those without the disease. So having this prevention center so close to home really means a lot to the patients we spoke with. And Dr. Rogers also emphasized how important it is for diabetics to examine their feet on a daily basis so they can catch any potential problems early.